morning, Macedonia. Good morning, Macedonia. Good morning. Good morning, Macedonia. Good morning.
going to have today, we're going to have Brother Benny's going to come up. Deacon Benny's going to come. He's going to do our scripture after that. Deacon Long is going to come and do our prayer. And then we're going to go with Sister Amelia Reed. He's going to do our announcements. And then I'll come back after that. Amen? Amen. Pit, 
somebody. She didn't know. I know I didn't do anything. <laughs> but he doesn't want to know. Amen. Amen. So I, I don't think that. I thank my musicians for standing by. Amen. I thank my musicians for standing by. I thank all my brothers for standing by. Amen. And I even thank the kitchen committee. They've done a wonderful job. And I didn't think everybody did the kitchen. We had a rolling home going yesterday. Yeah. You know, when you know where you where your sister and brother are going, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry. Amen. Oh, you can be free. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't want to thank everybody that was here yesterday.
How many of you know that God will make it all right? Come on and clap your hands if you know that God will make it all right. Come on, give God some praise if you are there any worshipers in the house today? Scattered remarks. I don't count it robbery, but I 
count it an honor and a privilege yes, to be able to stand behind the sacred book board and share the word of the Lord. Amen. It is one of our most prized possessions and the joy of my soul just to be able to break open God's word that we may eat together. Y'all yes, came to eat today, yes, didn't you? Yes, Everybody come with their fork in their hand, they plate in their side. God will feed you. I wish I had somebody that know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah, somebody. We all, they used to pray, give us this day our daily. I ain't got nobody going to help me up here. I, I need some daily bread. The bread from yesterday, old and stale. I need some. I ain't got nobody going to help me up I need some fresh bread. Hot out of the oven. If y'all pull up the Holy Ghost. prayer in the pews, there be power in the pulpit. Glory to God. Somebody ought to start praying right now. I said if there's prayer in the pews, there be power in the pulpit. Amen. We thank God for being here this morning. I know that I did not come to bother you alone, but I did come to do what thus said the Lord charged me to preach over 30 something years ago and I've been on the journey ever since amen. cannot do it without him amen. amen want to acknowledge some of my loved ones my wife is here this morning amen thank God for her amen, amen. amen. Uh, some of my children are here my second oldest son Mason is here and my youngest boy Caleb is here amen my lovely and vivacious, musically inclined dancing machine, Elena, is here this morning. Ariel, my studious and excellent defender of men, is here this morning. So I thank God for all of my family being here this morning. I see some friends, Sister Green, amen. Been knowing Sister Green for 30, I ain't gonna tell your age, for 30 something years, amen. Praise God, so good to see her this morning, Jessica, my niece been following me around since I started preaching. God brought her out of some stuff. Amen. Just follow somebody who followed God. I was, that's a word for you right there. Just follow somebody who followed him God. If you follow somebody who followed him God, they'll never lead you wrong. Come on, Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Follow somebody who followed God. Well, that is a word from the Lord. In the book of Jeremiah, in the book of Jeremiah, I understand that it's men's day. Um, I no longer know what that means, Pastor. That, that is, and I'm not trying to be offensive or funny. <laughs> it's men's day. It's, it's men's day. So they used to say, preach a message for the men. I said, you know, God didn't call me to just men. Amen. 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 So pray. Just believe God gonna do something extraordinary today. Amen. I, I need an extraordinary Amen. move of God. Yes. I don't need that regular church stuff. We ain't got people ain't holding church nothing but an hour now. But I need God to move. I need God to move. In the book of Jeremiah. The 18th chapter, there's a word from the Lord. All right. Pray with me, if you will. Father in heaven, we pause now just to say thank you, God. Thank you for your divine presence in this place, God. Thank you for these people that are gathered here this morning, oh God, and we need a word from you, God. Look upon us this morning and forgive us of any sin that we committed ungodly before. Wash us white in this snow, God. We're here this morning, oh God, that we may receive in grafted word of truth. Give us a word this morning, oh God, that will speak to our circumstances, speak to our situation, oh God, to bring us out of the depths of despair and into the joy of your living, oh God. Have your way this morning, even in me, God. Make me 
the feet of a red rhino on the hearts of your people this morning, oh God. Lord, you said man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth. Send the word right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Let it touch every heart, Lord God. Let it stir in every mind, oh God. Let it build up, God, and not tear down. Let it lead us to truth and justice. In the name of Jesus, have your way. Let there be a free flow of the Holy Ghost this morning. Make your word alive to us, God. If you do that, Lord, we'll be careful to give you the praise. Give you the honor and give you the glory. It is in the matchless and marvelous name of Jesus the Christ that we do pray and ask. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Jeremiah chapter 18. Stand with me if you can, if you will, if you are able. I believe in honoring the word of the Lord. It is the most important thing in these pandemic times that we have. Amen. All you have is the word. Amen. Glory to God. Jeremiah 18 and beginning at the first verse reads these words. <coughs> the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house. And there I will cause thee to hear my words. Arise and go down to the potter's house. And there I will cause thee to hear my words. Mm -hmm. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. Yeah. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. Mm -hmm. So he made it again another vessel yeah, yeah. as seemed good to the potter uh -huh. to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in mine hand, O house of Israel. At what instant I shall speak concerning the nation and concerning the kingdom to plug up and to pull down and to destroy it. If that nation yes, against whom I have pronounced <coughs> turn from their evil, yeah. I will repent of the evil yeah. that I thought to do yeah, unto them. Yeah. And at what instant I shall speak concerning the nation and concerning the kingdom to build and to plant it if yeah. it do evil in yeah. my sight yeah. that it obey not my voice uh -huh. then I will repent of the good wherewith I said I would benefit them yeah. this is the word of God yes, for the people of God Amen. praise be unto God Amen. you can be seated in the presence of the Lord Amen. this morning just for a little while, if you don't mind, I want to redirect your attention back to verse number three. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels, and the vessel that he made of clay was marred. It was ruined. It was no longer good for anything. It was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make it. Amen. Come on, just for a little while this morning in this <laughs> sacred sharing moment, I just want to talk to you about being in the hands of a holy God. Come on, man. Yes, sir. Turn to your neighbor say, neighbor. neighbor. You got to say it like you really mean it. Neighbor. 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 You are in the hands neighbor. of a holy God. Come on, turn to the neighbor on your other side. Say, neighbor, 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 neighbor. I hope you know, I hope, I hope you're aware hope that you are in the hands of a holy God. Holy God. Now somebody clap your hands and give God praise in here this morning. In the hands 
of a holy God. Yes. Jeremiah is one of those eclectic prophets that gives us word of how God deals with the children of Israel yes. in their journeys with him. Uh -huh. Now don't let nobody fool you that there are nations, there are kingdoms, there are principalities all around that really need a word from God. Amen. But God had to set up and call Jeremiah when he was a young boy in order to get him to the place of where he could speak to truth to power. Yes. And whenever you're beginning to speak truth to power, power rarely wants to listen to what you got to say. I wish I had somebody that would pray with me this morning. Power rarely wants to listen to what you have to say. When you're called by God out of the muck and the miry clay, God sets you in a place for you to be used as his vessel to those that ain't hearing what he got to say. But he I wish I had somebody that knows what I'm talking about. God will raise up men in the household to speak a word to the family, to get them to where God needs them to be. God will raise us up in order for us to have the good of the land that will know the way of righteousness in truth. And that's what God has to do with Jeremiah. He has put him on the path to let him know that Jeremiah, I set you out. Because 
Savior, a holy God can look beyond my faults and supply my every I can't even understand a God that will give me the desires of my heart even when I'm still wicked. Tell my Lord to help me. I can't.
And he said, don't worry about it. That's it. I was trying to write notes. He said, don't worry about it. I was trying to get on my computer and type up my outline. He said, don't worry about it. To the point where I got frustrated with God. And said, God, I need a word for these people. He said, don't worry about it. I got the word. You just make yourself a baby. And when you get there, 
I'm going to cause you to hear my words. He said, rise, get up, go to the potter's house. Uh -huh. See, the first thing we got to understand is God still requires obedience, yes. not sacrifice. Yes. God still requires obedience, yes. not sacrifice. Yes. And your sacrifice cannot take the place of your obedience. Yes. And I don't know who I talk to this morning. I just can't do what God said. Your sacrifice cannot take the place of your obedience. If Jeremiah had never got up and went down to the potter's house, he would have never got the word from the Lord that had his answer to what the question he was asking from God. When he got up and went down to the potter's house, I want you to see this now. He said, when he got there, I went down to the potter's house and behold, he said, look, the potter was working a work on the wheel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come out. Go ahead. Yes, sir. He said, I got to the potter's house and potter was working a work on the wheel. Yes, sir. He was working some things out. Yes, sir. Y'all yes, missed it. Yes, In us, yes, sir. Come on now. God's working some things out. Yes. I can't hear. I'm going to help somebody. Listen, in America, God working some things out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He working some things out. I feel my prophetic spirit. Listen, he's working some things out in America right now. See, he's separating some meat from some tears. Can't get nobody talking to him here. He's separating some good from the bad. He's separating from sifting and allowing the winds of trauma or pandemic to blow in the land.
would be turned. Yes, sir. God would have his hands on the clay. Y'all missed it. The potter would be pumping. The wheel would be turned. And that God would have his hands on the clay. The potter would be pumping. The wheel would be turned. And God has his hands on the clay.
you ain't got it all together. Yes, right. But God still but God's got his hands on us. Come on and tell you right now.
that God gives you vision yes. on what it is he's trying to get you to understand. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Jeremiah was seeking for answers from God. Mm -hmm. And he had a question. And in between the question and the answer came God's revelation. Yes, sir. Go down to the Father's house. Yes. I'm going to show you a vision of how I'm working with the children of Israel. I'm going to show you a vision of how I'm going to work this thing out. This is my hand. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. He said, this is my hand. Yes, sir. Not just in the church, but in the world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can, can, can I take a little time? Listen, yes, this is my hand. The hand of God in the hands of the Holy God. The hand of God is this in the church and in the world that we ain't listening to. He said, y'all remember the fivefold ministries. Yes. This is my hand. Yeah. This this is my hand. Uh -huh. In the fivefold ministries, mm -hmm. I got apostles. Yeah. They govern my church. Y'all yes, better get this. I ain't gonna get anything no more. I got apostles. They govern my church. I got prophets. They guide my church. Yes, I got evangelists. They gather my church. Yes, I got pastors. They guard my church. Yes, and I got teachers. They ground my church in the word of the living God. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? That's his hand. That's his hand. If you look for Bible book, chapter and verse, Ephesians chapter number four, verse number eleven says he's got them in the church for the perfecting for the work of the ministry until we all come into the fellowship of the fullness of the
we we are about community and until we get to the place of where we understand what God is after and we got to learn to love one another when you're in the hands of a holy God you can't treat people any kind of way you can't do any kind of thing you can't say any kind of words you got to walk upright according to the word of the living God you got to lay aside If it don't come from God, you just dreaming about it. Right. Boy, Honey, you may need to start the car. I'm gonna have to get out of here. In a few Listen, it, it's just if it, if it don't come from God, you just dreaming about it. Yeah, it's not really a revelation if it doesn't come from God. like this here, Jeremiah. If these people that we are with are in my hand, he said, behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, verse 6, so are you in my hand. I can mold you, shape you, knock you off the wheel, pick you up, put you back on the wheel, get the hard places out of you, make you holy, Yes. He says, when I do that, mm. at what instance I speak concerning a nation and concerning a king, yes. if I pluck it up mm. and de- intend to pull it down, if that nation mm. whom I have pronounced yes. turn, 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 yes, sir. turn, turn from there evil ways. He said then what I thought to do to them I'll repent of the bad, the evil that I would do to them. He said but also the reciprocal of that is that if I say to any nation or speak concerning a kingdom to build it and to plant it. That if it do evil in my sight that it does not obey my voice then I will repent of the good, of the benefit that I intended to share with them. Amen. Amen. Uh, here, here's, the real, here's the real deal right here. Come on. God is always about redemption. Church ain't different just because of the pandemic. God is still redeeming. I said he's still redeeming today. That if we get going down the wrong path, uh-huh. ain't you glad that we have a God that will look beyond the challenges that you have brought in your own life? Pick you up out of the muck and my place. Put you back on the wheel. I ain't got nobody gonna help me over here. And be in the hand of a holy God. What God was telling Jeremiah to share with the children of Israel that no matter how you go wrong yes, sir. Oh, not, not, not if you gonna go wrong but no matter how you go wrong yes, right. well, I gotta get out of here he said no matter how bad you think you messed up I got you I got no matter how bad you messed it up I got you somebody don't give him praise right there 
Then put your hand on us, God. Put your holy hand on us. Mold us right now, God. There's a hard place, God, of unforgiveness. Mold us right now. There's a hard place, God. It's a hard place. Break it right now. Knock us off the wheel. Addiction, God. Right, right now. Break it off of us. It's a hard place, God. Immorality, God. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. We need you, God. We need you. We need you. Go stand here. Put us on the wheel. We ain't moving till you, to you mold it out, God. We're marred in your hands, God. We're, we're marred. We're ruined. We ain't got it right, God. Mind not right, God. Our hearts ain't right. Sometimes our tongue not right, God. Got trauma. Hurt from years ago. Release us in the name of Jesus. You said whatsoever we bind on earth, we'll be bound in heaven. You said whatsoever we loose, God, we'll be loose. Father, we come now, God, binding up any hurt, God. Uh, yes. Binding up pain, binding up things that have stopped our progress. Caused us to be less than you desired for us to be, God. We bring it to the altar right now. We put it on the wheel, God. Yes. That you would mold it, that you would work in it. Let your fingers, God, touch us in places where we're hurting. Yes. Have your way, God, in this place today. We lose, God, joy. We lose liberty. We lose the freedom to be who you desire for us to be, God. To love without boundaries, God. Have your way right now. Touch us. Heal us. And deliver us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Then, Father, save us from ourselves, God. That you would get all of the glory. That you would get all of the honor. And that you would get all of the praise. It's in your name, God, that we work, that we live, that we move and have our being in you, God. Touch us right now. We thank you for doing it. In Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hands and give him praise. Come on.
your tithes and your offerings in the back. So just um, as you leave out, just make sure you put in your tithes and your offering so that you can get the blessing that God has in store for you. Amen. Let us bow. Father God, in the name of Jesus, again, we thank you. We thank you, Father God, for coming and visiting us on today, Father, through the anointed word of Pastor Jones, Father God. We thank you and we praise you that he was able to stop by and give us, Father God, the word that you had given him. We thank you right now, Father, for all that was able to hear this word on today. We thank you and we praise you for the offering that's going to be taking place on, uh, right now, Father God, and we thank you that you're going to watch over each and every one of us as we leave this building, Father God, but never your presence. It's in your mighty son, Jesus' name that we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. You are this business.